okay enough of that. Um, now, I was out there at the, uh, driving along, around, along the railroad tracks out there last weekend. And all these years I've been going out there, I've noticed the old telephone poles following the railroad tracks. Now I hear a lot of that stuff was for the old telegraph. Um, and I used to see these up there on the poles, right? I know there's collectors out there who collect these things. Look on eBay. These are Heming Gray 42s. I'm not sure what this one is. It's a Heming Gray, but it says D510. I believe these are for telegraph. I'm not sure. And these are for like power, but they are insulators. You know, now they use porcelain. Back in the day, this was the uh, this was the hot ticket here. Screws on the pole, and then they they wrap the wire around there and string it along the railroad tracks. So uh, I saw one on the floor, so I figured oh, I'm going to take one for a little souvenir. I thought they were kind of cool, but I found out that. People actually make like lamps and stuff out of these. Look at that. I'm a plumber. I could make something like that. This guy selling them for that's that's two hundred and twenty nine dollars right there for that little lamp. Wow. Here's something similar, but this is this is using mason jars from ball glass. Just iron pipe screwed together and run some wires. Like, holy cow, you know, I'm a plumber, I could probably do stuff like this in brass or copper or combination. Yeah, see, there's the whole lamp right there. It's just pipe fittings. So anyway, I was thinking of making a run back out there and uh, picking these up. They're just sitting out there in a pile. Because I could make stuff like that. Hmm. I just don't want to get in trouble, you know? This is railroad property. Yeah, but if they're gonna get thrown away anyway It's up in the air so if I go out this weekend, I just may head on out there and Collect as many as I see lying on the floor, right? Right, that's my story